Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin. For many, many years, I've had great fun cooking at the Yale Club with my friend Alain Seillac, André Solzner, Jacques Torres, and the chef there, Charles Curley. Unfortunately, because of social distancing, I cannot be with you now. However, I hope you enjoy my little recipe here. Cook them at home with your family, your friends. I'm sure you'll have a great time. Thank you, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Happy cooking. One of my favorite food is soup. And we do soup summer, winter, all the time. This was, was labeled by my wife, the fridge soup, <laughs> because occasionally I go to the refrigerator, I have a piece of one thing or another, you, different vegetables, sometimes some meat, we do a soup with it. Yesterday I cook eight thighs of chicken. I boiled them to do a stock, and I did a rice with some type of stew with it, and some of the meat for my doggy. But what I have left is the skin here. After I, uh, after I boiled it, I have the skin, and you see those skin here. You can do it with the raw skin, it's okay. Uh, it's very good too. With the cooked skin like this, it's a little more tender. But ultimately for me, I like that be better than, uh, than bacon. It's really, really good. And it's terrific in top of a soup like we have, in top of a salad, in top of uh, different type of things, like you would use bacon. So here I put a bit of salt. That goes into a 500 degree oven, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. In my refrigerator, I have a potato, which is a little uh, damaged here, so I will trim it. Pieces of carrot, I have that onion. I have a couple of those uh, mushrooms here, which are a bit tired. Some celery, we have to throw out some of that. I have some salad here, wilted salad. And it's okay, I look at it, it's not damaged to, it's just wilted, and it's fine in the soup. And pieces of broccoli that I add. In addition to this, we had spinach yesterday for dinner, so I have that left, and some uh, frozen corn. So we are going to organize this to do the soup with it. First thing that I do, okay, this I, uh, well, this I'm gonna throw out. Okay, this here. Uh, probably. I mean, I don't want to use spoiled food, but I'm cleaning it up. One time I remember I did a show like that with my, with Claudine on KQED, and we had some type leftover, and I used leftover vegetable like that, and people loved it. So I have a potato here, that potato is damaged. Here I'm going to take that piece, damage. Peel the potato. If I had several potato, I would thicken it with it, but I only had that potato, so I'm probably going to thicken that soup. You know, I use couscous, I use oatmeal, I use all kind of things like this. So here is my vegetable. This is a piece of lick that I have here. Well, this is no good. Well, this one, that's fine here. I have those four mushrooms. They are dark. But they are not spoiled, they just dry a little bit, and it's perfectly fine, give me a lot of taste. I have onion here. That onion is a little uh, damaged, but it will work perfectly with the soup. And remember that we start with the chicken stock, you can start with water, it's perfectly fine. I have some scallion here, maybe that first rim here is a little damaged. The end here, that's it. The wilted salad here, that wilted salad is perfectly fine. Here, a bit of the broccoli, again left, and carrot. So carrot here, I'm gonna peel my carrot. We I think soup lends itself to all kind of things. And for me, uh, in the winter and even in the summer, I'm always satisfied with a soup. Okay, it's a little, see that carrot is a little bit wilted. You can see it's soft, but it doesn't matter for the soup. So this is it. The time now oh, to put it in there. And we'll start. 
you could do that soup and actually make a puree out of it. Or you can do it in pieces as I'm doing here. I like it. You can always decide at the end if you want to, uh, to puree it, you know. Scallion here again in pieces like this. I mean, if this is not crucial, you know, you could do it one way or the other. My broccoli, I will cut coarsely. The mushroom. And you know, I do soup. Very often I do a lot of soup, thing left over, and I freeze it, you know, in quart container. So that I'm always soup ready in the freezer for cold weather or warm weather. Okay. And that soup is never the same. Good. You never have the same thing left over in your refrigerator. Okay. My potato. All right. This is it. The rest of it can go later. So all of that is going to go into my stock. Okay. I think that I'll put the the spinach here and the corn a little later when I thicken it. So this has to come to a boil and I would say boil it for 20, 30 minutes and it's fine. Well, that's it. My soup is cooked enough now. I'm gonna put the spinach and the corn in there. And uh, oh, about two thirds of a cup of, uh, of grits, you know, the, the quick one. We could use the other one. And now that I have to cook for five minutes, as you can see, my stock is a little dark, and that's because of the mushroom. Those uh, old mushrooms that I have here can did it a bit dark, but it's going to be very good. And in fact, you know, in there, when you serve that, you can serve that with a, a little pat of butter on top of it, or uh, a little bit of olive oil, or maybe some cheese, I'll say. Because remember, we have water, all of those vegetables, so it's pretty low calorie. So now it has to come back to a bowl. It's coming back and boil for five minutes. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. It's thickened, it's good. It takes about 10 minutes to thicken a bit of salt. Okay. Now I have a nice thick soup here. I like to serve that with a bit of cheese and I have some, I already have grated cheese in the refrigerator. This is cheddar, cheddar cheese, but beautiful color here. Practically a meal with a piece of bread. We have the skin of the chicken. As you can see here, those are really crunchy. Really delicious. I use them instead of bacon. And of course, if you have, happen to have them there, you want to put them on top. Good news, really, that's it. Our fridge soup. Bon appétit and happy cooking.